it's Wendy Johnson with Drive Across Texas, and we are here in McGregor, Texas. And Brian and I were walking around downtown, getting some shots, all that good stuff, and we happened to run into Andrew Smith, who works with the Chamber of Commerce and the Economic Development of Craig McGregor. And he's like a wealth of information. Y'all, I just don't even know what to say. He's like telling us all kinds of fun stuff about why people should drive across Texas. So I'll let him tell y'all a little bit. So McGregor, Texas was founded in 1882 as a railroad town, and we actually have one of the most technologically advanced companies in the world located here within our confines. Um, SpaceX does all of their testing here, so everything that SpaceX shoots into space or brings back from space actually goes through McGregor, Texas. Wow. And um, we're a thriving community right outside Waco, Texas. Uh, we have the Magnolia House, which is Chip and Joanna Gaines' um, bed and breakfast. We get a lot of tourism from that, where people come out and take a look. Uh, we have a very famous cafe that uh, former President George Bush and his wife eat at when they're staying at their ranch just outside McGregor and Crawford. Nice. And so McGregor's a, a nice, quiet town, but we're growing and it's an exciting place to visit because we have a kind of a rich history, even though 1882 wasn't that long ago. In, in Texas terms, it's, it's a pretty neat historic place. Very cool. Okay. There is a lot to see here, y'all. Just walking down Main Street, we stopped in and ate at Luigi's. Great Italian food. I noticed the mirror, the McGregor mirror, the newspaper that's been in existence since 1904. You know, there's the Texas Museum of Theater and Broadcast across the street. Really cool buildings just to look at. So there's definitely a lot to see here. Absolutely, and one of the neat things in this day and age of, of instant information in your pocket on your smartphone, our, our newspaper here in town gets published weekly. I love that. And, and all day long, because they're two doors down, I, I see people on publication day pull up and actually go put their quarters in the basket on the counter and pick up their information for town I love weekly that. In, in, in the publisher's office. So nice. it's a neat thing for the community because the, the local information is something that's not going to hit your phone as much mm -hmm. as what's going on in your town. So you get to see your kids when they do an achievement at school or sports or that sort of thing. So having a, a small town newspaper is a big asset and we hope they keep going, but I think they're on their fourth generation of family that's running the paper. So. Nice. Very cool. They're a great okay. asset. There's a lot of rich history here, y'all. I'm telling you, it is definitely one of those stops that you want to make on your next drive across Texas because there's just so much to see, nice people to meet, just a great little small town Texas. Y'all stay tuned. Bye, y'all.